Vacation plans. Wow, look. It's raining cats and dogs. Oh, I hate this weather. Me too. I hate raining. Winter vacation is coming up, right? No, now it's just October. But I'm tired of studying. I want to go somewhere warm and lie on the beach. Where it's sunny and dry like Florida or Hawaii. Me too. I really want to go to the beach. Mm, I prefer the mountains, especially in the winter. I enjoy snowboarding. In fact, I intend to visit Bear Mountain with a group of friends in December. Do you want to go with us? No, thanks. I went there last year. Anyway, I don't know how to ski very well. And I fell about a hundred times last year. How about you, Peter? Do you want to go to Bear Mountain? Sorry, I don't want to go anywhere where it's too cold. What is the weather forecast for tomorrow, by the way? The same as today. Cloudy and cold with a 90% chance of rain. Oh no, I forgot to bring my umbrella with me to the library. You can borrow mine. I've got an extra one shopping for food. Oh, thank you so much. In the city. Are you going downtown today, Peter? Uh-huh. What's up? Can you give me a ride? I have to run some errands. Where exactly do you need to go? I have a lot of places to go, including the bank. Could you please drop me off at the intersection of King Avenue and Rose Avenue? Sure, but why are you going to the bank? Why don't you use the on-campus ATM? Because my debit card isn't working. I need to get a new one. Okay, I got it. By the way, is there a computer repair shop near there? I need to drop off my laptop computer repair. Oh, yeah. There is a computer repair shop opposite the bank. That's so convenient. How about you? What are you going to do downtown? I'm heading to the courthouse to pay a traffic ticket. Really? I have to pay a ticket as well. I just got one last week. But Amy, you don't drive. I know. I got a ticket for jaywalking. Really? Yeah. I had no idea it was illegal to cross the street in the middle of the night while looking for the perfect apartment. My landlord just raised my rent. That's bad. Now I'm so stressed out. I think I'll have to move. You know, my building has some vacancies. It's a nice place and it's only 10 minutes from campus. Oh, and how much? $850 a month, I think. That's not bad. Tell me more. Well, one bedroom with a bathroom, a kitchen, a fireplace in the living room, and a fairly large closet. That's great! Learning new customs. Is this your first vacation to the United States, Selma? Yeah, right. How do you feel about it so far? The people are very friendly, and the city is gorgeous. However, the cuisine isn't too great. Don't you like the food here? Oh, that's what I thought when I first arrived, but I'm acclimated to American cuisine now. And I actually enjoy hot dogs and fries. Heard you went to a Mexican restaurant last night. Right. Did you like it? Yeah, the meal was wonderful, but there was so much of it that I couldn't eat it all. Someone was surprised when I took the leftovers home in a doggy bag. That's rather interesting. Nah, they do not call it a doggy bag, but it's for people anyway.
Health Club. Hello, my name is Adele. I'm confident you'll like your stay here. Allow me to show you around. Sure. This is the weight room. We have the most up-to-date equipment. Our teachers can demonstrate how to utilize them. This is really cool. And here is the dance class. Wow, I like this place. We also have other sports, like cardio, boxing, and karate. A sick classmate. Have you attended school today? Yes, and I didn't see you in school today. I couldn't go to school today because I had a cold. I'm sorry to hear that. How are you feeling now? I feel better. Would you like the assignments from the math class? I really appreciate it. And the assignments from physics class, please? Of course, no problem. I'm grateful for having you as a friend. It was nothing. Get well soon. Thanks. See you later. Sharing news and information. Dialogue 1. The First Daughter. Have you heard the news about Linda? Linda? I haven't heard anything. Do you know what? She just had a baby. Oh, that is good news! Did she give birth to a boy or a girl? The baby is a girl. She is Linda's first daughter. Oh, so sweet! She must be so cute! The baby's name is Gemma. She weighs nine pounds. I should visit them. Thanks for giving me the good news. Not at all. Dialogue 2. A Swindler. Did you hear that? Hear what? The news is talking about the swindler. What did he do? He swindled a large of money from an elderly nurse. She was making plans to retire, and he told her that he could help save her some money. She trusted him. How could he do that? She lives alone. Her husband is dead and she has no children. He is cruel. He was caught and in prison now. It serves him right. Fifteen. Changing the subject. Dialogue one. Don't change the subject anymore. Would you like to have a drink with me tonight? Great. Last night was your first date with Jenny, right? Yes. Where are we going tonight? Heaven, as always. Wait. That was an odd change of subject. How was your date? Oh, while I remember, I couldn't find my car's key. Here it is. Turns out it's here. Don't change the subject anymore. She didn't come. I got stood up. Oh, we need beer tonight. Dialogue 2. Let's plan a trip. Work, work, work. I miss the travel days. Let's plan a trip. What do you think about a trip from Europe to Asia? Wait, honey. Should we travel for a week or a month? Did you hear me? We need to save money for this trip. 
Speaking of money, have we paid our credit card bills yet? Yes, we paid. I've just thought of something. Why don't we go to the movies tomorrow? Great! I'll search what movies are hot recently. Sixteen. Receiving visitors. Dialogue one. A cup of coffee? Would you like a cup of coffee? Yes, I'd love to. I'm really glad you came. If I don't come, I don't know when we'll see each other. Lately, I've been very busy with work and my little girl. I know. I missed you so much. I missed you too. So, how have you been? I just got promoted. You're always good. And love story? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on! Dialogue 2. How was your trip? Welcome to Switzerland. Hey, long trip to see you. Let me help you with your bag. Thank you. Come in. Make yourself at home. How was your trip? Pretty great. I'm very happy you came to visit me. It was great to see you again. What have you been up to? I'm on top of the world. Are you still at IBM? Yes? How old is your now? My son's 10. Where is he? He and Angel are going to the supermarket. Seventeen. Waiting for an invitation. Dialogue one. A pool party. Are you ready for the weekend party? Party? Jenny's party at the weekend. Have you heard about it? Ah, I heard about it this morning. Did she invite you? Mm, still waiting for the invitation. Where will the party be held? At her house. It's a pool party. Oh, wow. That's awesome. When did she give you the invitation? This morning. I believe that she will give me the invitation today. Sure. I think she'll invite everyone in the company. Dialogue 2. The Prom. I can't wait for the prom. Me too. Who will you go to prom with? Edward, of course. He invited me as soon as he got the notice about the prom. You two are such a beautiful couple. Who will you go with? I'm just waiting for the invitation. From who? Andy! Why hasn't he invited me yet? Let's go and invite him. No way! I'm a girl! Come on, what if a girl invites him first? He's coming! Eighteen. Accepting an invitation to a party. Kaizi, how are you doing today? Today was a busy day. What's going on? Pretty good. I'm having a slumber party on Friday night. Would you like to join? A slumber party? Yes, Belle and Emma will also come. That would be great. What time does it start? 8 p.m. at my house. A slumber party after a busy week. I'll be there. Can I bring anything? Anything you want. See you Friday night. See you then. Dialogue 2. Housewarming party. Huh? 
Hi, I'm Alex. I just moved in next door. Nice to meet you. Hello. Welcome to this neighborhood. I'm Laura. I'm throwing a housewarming party tomorrow evening. I was wondering if you would like to come. I'd love to come. Happy to hear that. The party starts at 7 p.m. Would you like some help with the food? No, I'll have everything. Thanks. I'll bring a bottle of wine. That would be nice. See you tomorrow. Thanks for your invitation. See you. Nineteen. Declining an invitation to a party. Dialogue one. I wish I could. These days were overloaded with office work. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, it's my birthday coming next week. Are you free? When is the party? Ah,、uh, the weekend. I wish I could attend your party, but I have a plan. That's too bad. Sorry again, I can't make it. Don't say that. It's okay. I hope you enjoy your party. Thanks. Maybe you can come next time. I'll definitely come to your next party. Great. Dialogue two. Thank you for your invitation. I'm planning to have a pool party at my house. Fantastic! The party will be held early next month. Would you like to come? What date exactly? On June first. Oh, unfortunately, I already have plans for that day. Really? Travel with my family. We booked tickets, so I won't be able to come. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's fine. I'll look for you at my next party. I hope you have a wonderful time. Thanks. Twenty. Ending a conversation. Good evening. Hi. Where are you going? Exercise, you know. That's why you have a fit body. Maybe. You showed me how to make green tea cake. Remember? Of course. I tried to make it. It was delicious. Nice to hear that. I'll make it again and let you taste it. Oh, I look forward to it. Please excuse me. I have to check on the kids before they go to bed. Sure, I have to go too. See you. Goodbye. Twenty-one. Leave taking. Thank you for bringing me to that restaurant. My pleasure. I had an amazing time tonight. It was really nice talking to you. Also, there is a symphony concert next weekend. Would you like to come with me? Yes, I really like symphony music. Me too. We have much in common. My car is over there. May I pick you up next time? Sure. I'll call you. So, I'll see you next time. Drive safely. See you. Greeting, friends. Morning, Will. Hey, Tom. What's up? Good morning, Miss Linda. Good morning, Will. I have to go now. Have a nice day. See you later, Mom. Goodbye. Morning, Linda. How's it going? 
I'm doing well. How about you? Never better. How was your vacation? I have to tell you, it's amazing. Where did you go to travel? Clearwater Beach in Florida City. That beach is really cool. Hello. So good to see you again, Bella. Hello there. Greeting business partner. Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Linda. I'm the marketing manager from ABC Real Estate Company Limited. It's my pleasure to meet you. You can call me Brian. Pleased to meet you. Please have a seat. Sure. Here's my business card. Great. Bella called me to make an appointment today. Yes, she'll be right here. Please kindly wait. Of course. Mr. Brian, I'm honored to meet you again. Hello, Bella. Let's get down to the business, shall we? Yes, sure. Nice weather. Good morning, honey. Morning, honey, and hello, weekend. Look at the sky. What's wrong? A beautiful day today, isn't it? Yes, it's warm and sunny. I feel great. You like sunny days, don't you? Yes, so much. I prefer sunny days to rainy days. Why? Because it's a lovely day for a walk in the park. And there's nothing better than relaxing at the beach on a sunny day. Shall we go to the beach today? Great idea. Bad weather. The weather looks bad outside today. There are many, many clouds in the sky. I can't see the sun. I think it's going to rain. Yes, it's dark and cloudy. Something wrong, honey? I hope it doesn't rain. I remember you plan to visit Jacob's house today. Yes, we plan to have a barbecue in the yard. Did you hear the thunder? Yes, I did. And now I hear the rain. There's a storm coming. I think I need to go to the supermarket. I don't think so. The weather forecast says a storm is coming. Really? Yes, Mom. I will go to the supermarket quickly, then come back. Don't do that, Mom. It is very cloudy. It is very dark, cloudy, and windy. You shouldn't go outside right now. It's really stormy. Did you see that intense lightning flash? Yes, it really lit up the entire sky. This loud thunder is making Max very nervous. Weather forecast. Good evening, I'm Chris Pratt. I'm Jenny Maud. Welcome to the Daily Weather. We had a beautiful Friday morning. Tonight it'll rain. The temperature will go down 60 degrees. And we are about to say hello to the weekend. What will the weather be like on Saturday, Jenny? The sun will be shining and the skies will be clear. The temperature will be 67 degrees around noon. The afternoon will be cloudy. However, it will clear up again by an evening at 61 degrees. We should plan a picnic on Saturday. Of course!
Let's hang out. How are you? Hi, how is your vacation? I don't have any plans for my vacation yet. I'm so bored now. Why don't we plan together? Agree! Let's hang out tonight! Would you like to go to the movies? Okay! A comedy or an action movie? A comedy movie. Tonight at 7 o'clock! I'll pick you up. I also want to go to the beach or go camping for a few days. Me too! We'll talk about it tonight. Okay. How is your health? Good evening, may I speak with Mr. Edward? Yes, this is Edward speaking. Hi, this is William. Hey, I'm glad you called. How have you been recently? Things are wonderful, how about you? Nothing much? Your voice is so strange, is everything okay? I mean, how is your health? I have a sore throat today. Let's gargle with warm, salty water. And drink plenty of water. Thank you. I will. And you? Are you still smoking? No, I quit smoking. A new staff. Have you seen the new girl? New girl? Yeah, she is a newcomer in our company. I haven't seen her. Have you seen her yet? Yes, I have. What does she look like? She is very pretty. She has light blue eyes. Absolutely beautiful. Is she tall? No, she's short. And she has a slim body. Is her hair curly or straight? Her hair is blonde straight. Oh, I think I see her. My lover. I heard from Linda, you have a boyfriend. I also want to tell you about that today. What a surprise! I'm curious, describe him to me. He is tall and muscular. Wow! I like his eyes, they're light brown. His hair is curly black. He must be handsome! Yes, he is good looking and funny. What do you like the most about him? He is a truly patient person. And kind. Oh, tell me about the first time you met him. Are you okay? Why didn't you go to work yesterday? I had a headache. It was so bad. Oh, sorry to hear you're not well. Did it get any better? It's better than yesterday. You look a bit off color. Are you okay? My head hurts a bit. Is there anything I can do? It's okay. I already took some medicine. If you need anything, just let me know. Thanks a lot, Bella. I hope you will feel well again very soon. You look sad. Hey, Gemma! Hey, Belle. You look sad. Something wrong? I feel so blue. Do you need a shoulder to cry on? It's okay. Thanks, Bella. Do you want to talk about it? My boyfriend dated me and my best friend at the same time. Bad boy! 
You know what? Let's punch him and tell the truth to your best friend. You're right. Don't be sad because of the bad boy. You deserve good things. Thanks, Belle. A job. I have bad news and good news. Which news do you want to hear first? Bad news. The sandwich I baked for breakfast was burnt. Okay, and the good news? I got a job offer. Really? Yes, I'm really excited. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. What company is that? I will work for NASA. Oh my bro, you're amazing. Tonight, let's go out for dinner. I'll treat. A father. I haven't told you what happened yet, have I? I haven't heard anything. What happened? Linda is three months pregnant. I'm about to become a father. Are you really? It's the truth. We went to the hospital last week. I'm really happy. Congratulations. You have no idea how happy I am for you. Thank you so much, bro. Cheers, bro. Cheer. What should I take to prepare? I don't have kids, so I can't show you. We get back together. Look at this guy. He texted that he wants to see you tonight. Oh, I forgot to delete the dating app. Do you still miss your ex? My boyfriend and I got back together. Really? We argued and broke up. You cried a lot and said you still love him. And so is he. He said that he loves me so much and wants me back. I'm glad to hear that. Congratulations. Thank you. You two are a great couple. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.